Hello everyone, we will continue the topic exception class and in the previous video, we created a exception class with messages of message class. Now what I will do in this video, I will use this exception class into the program. Before I will use in the program, I will go for another important point. Suppose this is our exception class in which we have not used the message class. So what we did, we simply provided the message here. We simply provided the message text here. Whenever we will go for exception ID and exception text or message text, a corresponding attributes will be there. These are our corresponding attributes. Attribute type is constant. And if we will go, these are the values, fixed values of those constants. When I showed you in the previous video, when I pass the value to the function module, ultimately, this is our message text. This is our message text. Because you gave the message text here itself. You gave the message text here itself. So whenever SAP provided the attributes, the value, the fixed values of those attributes are here. Now I will go to another. This is our class in which we have not given the message text here. Our message text is in the message class and we are using here. We are using. So if I will go to attributes, yes, we have same to same attributes there. Attribute type is constant. But if I will go here, have you seen? We are not able to see any initial value. And that is understandable. Previously, you gave the message text here itself in the exception class. So those attributes has that initial value or fixed value. Now you have not given that text here. You are using that text. So how, how that particular value will be here. Now whenever I will make a copy of the program and I will show you in the debugging mode, you will realize Whenever I will go for this particular exception class, there is no fixed value. It will go to our message class to give us the message text. Because in this, we are using the message class. Ultimately, result is same. There is no difference at all. But internally, we need to understand how, how SAP is giving the output. Output is same to same. There is no difference in the output. But I will simply do the comparison and show you in the debugging mode. In this, we will get the message through the message class. And here, we gave the message text here itself. So we have a fixed value and we are simply displaying that. So what I will do, I will firstly make a copy. This is our program. I will make a copy. This is our second program for the exception class. I will make a copy of the same. I will select all copy. I will go for local object. I will activate. Now the only difference in this program is rather than this exception class, we need to use the second exception class. Here I did the change. It is two. You can do control F and replace also. This is our two. This is our two. This is two. This is our two. This is our second. Two, this is our two. I will check the syntax and activate. 
for the best understanding but i will do i will put the break point in both the programs in one program we have the exception class without messages of message class in one program we have the exception class with message of message class behavior is same same to same output but internally in one program the messages are displaying directly but in one program we will get the messages from the message class but output is same so i will put a break point this is our second program i will put a break point here now i will go to first program also and i will put a break point there because it is important to understand internally because in one pro in one exception class we have message class in one exception class we do not have message class suppose firstly i will run this program in which we have not used the messages of our messages of message class i will not give the input i am executing i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop this if condition true now we are raising the exception and we passed this particular attribute have you seen this is the fixed value of the attribute this is the fixed value of this particular attribute because we gave the exception text message text here itself so this is the fixed value of this attribute yes and whenever we have this fixed value i showed you through the function module this particular message text is what please enter order number so now if i will go to second program this is our second program i will run this program also i will not give the input now if i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop now again input is initial so we are raising the exception we passed the attribute but there is no fixed value of the attribute say so there is no fixed value of the attribute because our message is coming from the message class so if i will show you this particular attribute just see it is clearly saying this particular message class and what is the message number 001 just see when we created this particular exception class what is the message we are using this is message of uh, this is this is the message this is our message class and message number 001 so internally how how it is doing in one program whenever we have a exception class without messages of message class so message text is there itself so this is our message text but in one program we are using the messages of message class so here we are getting the message class and message number ultimately output is same to same we will simply catch the exception and it will display the message text please enter order number in this program also we have same to same output if i will run this please enter order number the only only way is in one program it is not using the message class in one program it is using the messages of message class and internally also i showed you in the debugging mode so what is the summary of this particular video the major motto of this video is to show you in the debugging mode that in if you are not using message class the messages are coming as a fixed value we have a fixed value of that particular attribute we have a fixed value of that attribute but if you are using messages of message class 
at that time we have not fixed value or we do not have initial value we are going for message from the message class so i made a copy of the program then i showed you in that debugging mode how one program is doing giving the output and how another program is giving the output but ultimately behavior is same to say it depends upon the project yes but the project is saying generally a exception class using messages of message class is preferable because we already have the messages and we are using into the exception class so that's it in this particular video thank you